So this recipe is for caramelized mushroom. Uh, we've done this before with chanterelles and matsutakis. Uh, this time we're gonna be using cauliflower mushroom. Okay, so now that they're all clean, what we wanna do now is dry them off. Uh, the reason we dry them off, we, we're gonna saute these in some butter and we want the mushrooms to get a little bit crisp. Uh, so basically what's that, what that's gonna be for the first 10 minutes or something like that is just removing the moisture from the mushrooms. So that's why it, it helps to say if you just use uh, paper towels and just start drying them off now and that way you don't have to cook off all that water in a little bit. Okay, so now that we got them clean and dried, what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt a little bit of butter in, um, in a pan, and then uh, we're gonna get these guys uh, frying, basically. So you don't have to use much butter, uh, maybe like a tablespoon or two. Yeah, it's pretty good. I just checked it. <clears throat> They're starting to get crispy, so that's uh, that's where you want them to be. And then for this next step, what you want to do is you want to lower the temperature a little bit. Uh, maybe put it like low, maybe like medium low. Uh, before I had it about medium temperature, so you want to lower the temperature a little bit, and that way when you add the sugar, you don't uh, burn the sugar. Unless um, some people like burnt sugar too. But it's, it's not too bad. I think I think last time I did this, I burnt the sugar a little bit, and it wasn't too bad actually. So. Now burnt sugar is pretty good. So there you go, it's caramelized mushroom. And they are surprisingly good because, you know, it's, it's not only that, you know, you get the nice sugar taste and um, a little bit of salt and mushroom, but also the, the mushroom, it just, um, you know, first you get that sweet taste and then you, you get like a, you definitely get like a mushroom taste, you know, like a cooked mushroom. So it's really interesting. I definitely recommend it. Every, every person that we've uh, given this to now, they really like it. It's just, uh, yeah, it's really surprising. And um, it's, it's a combination you probably wouldn't think about. I would definitely give it a shot though. And like I said, we c you can use chanterelles. Uh, matsutakis are really good this way too. Um, you know, one thing I like the chanterelles, they have a lot of moisture. So it's, it's even gonna be a longer cooking process. Uh, matsutakis, they don't have as much moisture. So it's a little bit easier uh, getting the matsutakis crisp. And then, um, yeah, we put it on, um, you can eat it this way, obviously, it's really good that way, or you can... Mm -hmm. 